medium man, physical medium man, physical medium man. What you buy? Was it something good? What's up, guys? Physical medium man back here again for another physical medium man Monday video. I don't have too many things here, so hopefully the video is long enough. Um, but anyways, before I get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave feedback, do a lot of good stuff down below. I'll leave the links to my Instagram page, my Physical Media Man store Instagram page, my Facebook page for the Physical Media Man slash Physical Media Man store, my Facebook page for non-meter related items, the HodgePodge Garage, my email, my eBay, my Twitter, and my Letterbox account, as well as my website where you can get merchandise. Okay. Um... Yeah, I got a couple things from eBay, a um, couple things from Walmart, one thing from Amazon, and we were recently in vaca on vacation in uh, Florida, and hopefully I'll have a video of that here soon. Um, and I got one thing at a video game store, which I thought was going to have movies too, because their sign had movies on it, um, and unfortunately they didn't have movies. Pretty good price store. Um, probably should have got a couple different things instead of what I got, um, but I'm happy with what I got anyway. So anyway, um, first up I'm going to start off with what I got on eBay. This, I, if I'm, I think this is the, the one I think it is. Um, both of these items I had watch reminders on or save searches, I guess, save searches on eBay for these items. Um, and it was always expensive because um, it's kind of an obscure, but well, this one mainly was an obscure title and um, you can tell they bubble wrapped it really well and everything. Um, and it was a, a good price compared to what it was going for and probably around what the person had paid for it. Um, so I went ahead and I actually bid on it and then no one else did. So. Uh, I was very happy to, to pick this up. I had gotten the uh, song, the main song, but um, I want to get the album because the music was really good in the film, and I enjoyed the film a lot. Um, so yeah, we got the Cops and Robbers soundtrack, um, original motion picture soundtrack. Uh, the main title, Cops and Robbers, is, is was the main one I was after, um, but this was put out by... I guess Kritzerland, www.kritzerland.com. I'm not familiar with them, um, but this was um, limited to a thousand copies, so it was pretty hard to, to find. And um, the movie's really good. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's got a Kino Lorber release. Uh, there's also an interview on there that's really good with one of the main actors. Um, a different kind of heist type of movie, um, but definitely worth checking out. And I really enjoyed the music, like I said. So um, it's, it's just a kind of a jazzish uh, '70s vibe, and it, just a fun soundtrack. So I wanted to, to have this for the collection, and I think I paid 17 total. So I was very excited about that, since it was going mainly for like 40 to 60 dollars on eBay. Uh, for the other listings I saw, so happy about that. All right, next up we also have another s soundtrack. If I can get it open. Maybe. They like weirdly taped it. And this one I think when I was originally looking for it, it wasn't too expensive and then it started getting expensive so I don't know what was going on with that but nonetheless I think I paid seven total at the most. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original soundtrack. 
uh, original motion picture soundtrack. Oh, awesome. It's got the, the MC Hammer, This Is What We Do song uh, that they play at the uh, the Foot Clan's like hideout area. Um, and yeah, it's got the the main the main theme that you know. So um, excited about this because it had kind of gone up, or it, it seemed like a lot of the listings were for like twenty dollars, and I didn't want to pay that. But this is one of my favorite movies. Um, such a big fan of it, and I definitely wanted to have this soundtrack in my collection. So a couple music items. All right. Next up, I'll show what I got from Amazon. This was a pre-order. I think I ended up getting it for $15 or less, which is what I would love to pay for all of these. Um, hopefully I don't miss out on any of them. This one I don't really know anything about, but um, like I, I've said in the past, I've really enjoyed collecting this line. So we got another Paramount Presents title in Bugsy Malone. Um, and this has Jodie Foster and Scott, ba Scott Bayo. I think it's Bayo. Could be wrong. Uh, this is Spine 23. And I got the ones behind me. I'm missing a couple of the new ones. Um, but I think this might be the... Even though I really like the what they're doing with the slip covers and everything, um, there's other... I don't know. I, I really enjoyed collecting the line is what I'm trying to say. And um, I've really enjoyed watching the movies that I hadn't seen because I've enjoyed every single one that we've watched so far and three or four of them I'd never seen before. So um, hopefully that's the same thing with this one. And they're also kind of starting to do more with these and put more on them, which is I think what everyone kind of wanted from them. Um, so this has two new special features, a new Give a, Light, Give a Little Love uh, HD, Paul Williams on Bugsy Malone, and new filmmaker Focus executive producer David Putnam on Bugsy Malone as well as theatrical trailers. Um, but yeah, n never seen this and never had it in the collection. So I'm um, excited about that. And then I'm gonna show uh, what I got in Florida. So I got three Nintendo 64 games. Um, I'll try to remember to leave the link below to the store. If you're into video games, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, He's very reasonable in prices. Um, none of these I'm super excited about, but um, I don't know if I'll ever do it or not, but I would love to get the complete Nintendo 64 collection. Um, don't really want to do it for any of the other systems, um, but the 64 was my first system and the one I grew up on. So, and I think all the games are, they're all, a lot of them are party games where you can play with your friends and they're all enjoyable so um, these are mainly I just bought for the prices and how good of uh, condition they were in so we got NHL Breakaway 98 for $2.99 and this has a um, I believe an Arizona Coyotes player on the front and those jerseys were sweet I believe my cousin had one of them um, and I don't think I have, besides Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey, which is a great Nintendo 64 game, um, I don't know if I have any hockey games, so I went ahead and picked that up for the price. And then I think my buddy Cody had a copy of this, and the owner of the store, he, he was really cool, um, said he had a, he's had the store for like 20 years, and they used to have movies and then nobody was buying them. Um, but he was really nice, and... Um, he said this one's actually pretty good. Um, I don't really know how to pronounce that. Something Country Club, True Golf Classic. And I don't think it has any actual professional golfers on it, but I, I've heard it. it's enjoyable. So, uh, I, like, and I think I played it with Cody and some of my other friends, but I have to play that one again. But for four ninety nine, I thought it was worth picking up, especially with how crazy the prices have gone with video games 
And then I also got this Excite Bike 64, and this one was $12.99. So I was really on the fence. I, I probably should have done it, but I was looking at um, the Mario Tennis game on GameCube he had for 40 I think, which seemed pretty good. Um, but I went that route instead. Okay, and then lastly, my birthday is in the month of September. Um, and I told my wife that uh, an item I really wanted and I had been trying to find in the store and couldn't find um, was available on walmart.com. Um, so she told me to go ahead and order it. And then I also got a cup because I think I needed like 12 cents to get free shipping. So I ended up buying a couple more uh, or a couple more, a couple uh, $5 Blu-rays. So I'm going to show those off first. I think this first one was $4.96, I believe, and I, I kind of been thinking about doing this for a while and never did. Um, had this one when I was in high school and, and liked it quite a bit. We got Young Guns, um, a good Western movie with a lot of great actors in it. You got Emilio Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland, Lou Diamond Phillips, Charlie Sheen, and yeah. I'm a fan of this one, and uh, I wanted to get it for the price. I thought it was definitely worth grabbing because it's one of my favorite westerns. And then this, I was shocked that they had it for the price. I don't know if I'm missing something or what, but I feel like it's always hard to find. Um, you can always find the second one, which I think I have, yeah, I have the second one over there, um, but I never see the first one, and for $5, I definitely wanted to grab it. We got the original never-ending never ending story. Um, I remember watching this a lot as a kid on VHS. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen it, but um, always liked it. So I look forward to revisiting it and really happy to have it in the collection on Blu-ray. So those were the two items there. Okay. Get everything together kind of here. Okay. And the moment you've all been waiting for, the item I was really after, hopefully it's in good condition, it's coming in a big box from Walmart. And they were really fast on their shipping, by the way, too. This was supposed to get here on the 14th, um, and it's the 15th when I record this, and it came on like the 11th, I think? No, no, sorry, the 12th or 13th, so a couple days early. All right, we got some packing stuff. Hopefully it survived okay. Okay, oh, almost had a takedown. I don't know if you can see this yet, but it barely fits in this box, so hold on a second. I'm gonna do my best to get it out of here without hurting it if that's possible I mean it, it's it's just in I'll just show you here I might open it from the back we got the turbo man the Funko re-release of turbo man for like $34 which is awesome because um, you can only get this in store at Walmart and look how it barely fits in this box so now I'm having a lot of trouble getting it out of there. Um, I actually had a save search on eBay before this had come out because the, they made one when the movie came out and those were stupid expensive like $200, $100 for one out of the box, no box. Um, so then when this came out, I thought I would be able to get one, hopefully. I think I'm going to try to... Oh, my mic cord stuck. About had another takedown. The struggle is real. 
Come on. It's almost a two-person job or something. Oh. There we go. We're out of the box. Okay, this thing is awesome. I think the box seems to be in pretty good shape. It's got a, like there was a sticker there. Um, I love the back with the jingle all the way. Yeah, this thing is cool. So yeah, super excited to have this in the collection. I'm such a big Arnold Schwarzenegger fan and I love um, jingle all the way. So this was a must when I saw it came out and I'm really happy to be able to to have it in the collection because I didn't think I was going to be able to find it in the store um, in my area, especially here in my hometown, our Walmart. No way we would ever get one. So, um, yeah, if you have trouble, if you're not able to find one, I don't know how long they'll be available online, but you can just buy it from Walmart.com, same price. So, um, no thrill of the hunt, but I think it was going to be impossible for me. So, Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't yet done so, please make sure to subscribe. Um, here is a thumbnail picture. All right. This is Physical Media Man signing off. Physical Media will never die. Physical Media Man. Physical Media Man. Physical Media Man. Yeah!